My name is Chloe. I live with my husband, but recently my father-in-law became ill, and so we had to take care of him at home. My husband is busy with work, so I am basically the sole caregiver. This is the story of my husband Marco and myself. Chloe, how is my father doing? I guess his pride is hurt because he can't do a lot of things by himself anymore. Well, take good care of him, even though he's a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's fine, but can't you take care of him a little too? It's hard for me to do things on my own sometimes. I've been telling you, right? I'm busy with work too. I'm looking after him on my days off, so that should be okay, right? What do you mean you're looking after him? Don't talk like I should be watching him, but you're the one who's actually doing it. Besides, you don't even look after him much on your days off. You make it sound like you're always doing so. I didn't say it like that. You're misinterpreting my words a little too much. That's not true. I mean, when have you been off these days? I haven't seen you at home at all lately. That's why I'm telling you, it's work. I'm having a hard time too, so don't be mad at me. I'm not mad, but it's just that it's hard for me to take care of him all by myself. I've come to realize that caregiving is something you have to do with someone else, or it will wear you out. Yeah, well, I understand that, but I'm also doing it. Not even. Any more would interfere with my housework. I think we need to think about going to a nursing home. Oh, come on. A nursing home is no good. There is no way my father would want to be in a nursing home. Besides, where are we going to get the money for it? The money for it? From your salary? Why should I spend my hard-earned money on my father? My dad doesn't have that much money either, so I can't put him in a nursing home. So I'm supposed to take care of him from now on. I can't stand that, okay? Please be patient. I'll take care of him as much as I can. I won't make you shoulder the burden alone, so please forgive me. You say, forgive me, as if you've been a bad kid. No, I didn't do anything wrong, so don't give me any weird suspicion. Well, that's fine. I'll do my best for now. Try to help out as much as possible. Yeah, I get it. Marco said he understood, but even after that he continued not to help out often. I became more and more exhausted, and my relationship with Marco deteriorated. The atmosphere between us was not good for a long time. When are you going to take care of him properly? I keep telling you I'm busy with work. That's enough. Your job keeps you busy all year round. That's not how it works. It's hard for me too, so you should really help me in caring for him. Even if you say that, if I can't do it, then I can't. So what should I do? Why are you so frustrated? Because it is frustrating. Your dad's pride is pretty high, so he tries to do everything himself, and it takes a lot of extra time. And that makes other chores harder and harder to do. Hey, don't talk about my dad as if he's in the way. He's my father. You should take better care of him. What do you mean, take better care of him? He's your father. You should take care of him. I told you, I have work. I'm tired of hearing the work excuse. Do something. I hate that part of you. Huh? What do you mean? I hate that you're so self-centered. I want more free time for myself too, and you want me to take care of my father when I get home? You're kidding, right? What are you talking about? I don't have any free time either. You do have it. You're a housewife. You say it's housework, but in reality you just lie around during the day and watch TV. Why should I listen to someone like that? That's weird. Do you really think that? Don't you know how hard it is that I have to do the housework? You're not having a hard time at all, so don't be ridiculous. I have to work harder than you do, because I have a job. I want my reward too, so I'm starting to think that I don't want to see you. Wait a minute, you don't want to see me? And that's the reward? Nothing, don't worry about that. I do care. What do you mean? You don't want to see me? What the hell are you thinking? I'm not thinking anything. Don't take any chances. I'm done talking about this. Don't pursue it any further. You understand? Hey, you! Don't end this conversation so abruptly. I decided to hire a detective to find out what Marco was up to. I was really curious about what he said, and I couldn't help it. As a result of the detective's investigation, it turned out that Marco was having an affair with someone at work. Moreover, he wants me and his mistress to get into a fight so that I'd break up with him, get divorced, and then he can receive alimony afterwards. Once I found out their plan, I lost all affection for Marco. From here, it is my turn to fight back. Chloe, my dad is asking where you went. Where did you go? If you're looking for me, I'm on my way back to my parents' house right now. Huh? Why are you going home to your parents all of a sudden? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm the one who's supposed to ask you that. You cheated on me with someone from work. What? How do you know that? No, it doesn't matter. 
But you left home because you knew? Yes, I only found out about it recently. Leaving your dad's care to me and cheating on me? I felt like a fool for trying so hard. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Come back to me. You say that now. Are you just now starting to realize what you did? I get it. Please come back to me. You only want me to come back because you don't want to take care of your dad yourself or do the housework, right? No, that's... I see through it all, you and your shallow guts. I have no intention of ever seeing you again. You and your cheating mistress will pay me alimony and never show your face to me again. Wait a minute! Chloe, let's talk it over. Maybe we can figure something out. Please, please come back. Chloe! Marco kept calling me until the very last minute, insisting that I come back. I ignored all of them and decided to get a divorce. Thanks to this, we were able to get divorced without delay, and Marco and his cheating partner paid me a large sum of money in alimony. Marco was left with no money, and furthermore, he is forced to live a life doing housework while taking care of his dad. The woman with whom he was having an affair was only approaching Marco because he had money. As soon as she was made to pay alimony, she told Marco that the story had changed and broke up with him. In the end, Marco lost everything because he was only doing what he wanted to do. All that was left was taking care of his dad, and I am living a comfortable life with the alimony I received. Before this money is gone, I am going to try to become a novelist, which has always been my dream. The next story is about a mom friend who forces me to pay for her lunch and ends up paying too much due to a misunderstanding. My name is Rose, and I am a full-time housewife, raising two daughters with my husband, who used to be my classmate. I'm sure you've heard all the stories about someone's husband getting a promotion or someone's wife being successful in something. At such a time, we usually send a word of congratulations, but there are some people who become jealous and have a bad attitude. If it is just a bad attitude, you can just let it go for a while, but there are some who directly harass you. Today, I would like to talk about my friend, Isabella. Hey, hey! Rose! Hey, Rose! I said. Hi, Isabella. What's wrong? I heard, I heard that your husband became a director of the company where my husband works. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's great! It's just recently, right? When he joined my husband's company? That's right. He often writes articles about housewives and marital problems, so I heard that he decided to join in order to make use of that in revamping childcare service. So then, it's great that he's a board member. Thank you. <laughs> he said it's going to be useful in promoting various services as well. That's great! My husband is a regular employee. But until now, he's been a freelance writer from home, so I'm a little sad that he'll be away more often. <laughs> oh, really? I'd rather they go somewhere every day, because it's just too depressing to stay at home. I see. Oh, that's right. It's been a while, so let's go out for lunch. Huh? What? Let's go out for lunch. Um, Isabella, you said before that you didn't want to have lunch with me, right? Oh, did I say that? Yeah. You said that my husband working from home is just like being unemployed, and that it would be embarrassing to have lunch with someone's wife like that. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. I see. Well, what do you care about the past? It's not good to talk about the past forever. All right, let's go to lunch then. Yay! How about tomorrow then? All right. Tomorrow at lunch in front of the station. Okay. See you. The next day. Isabella? What is it? It's about today's lunch money. Uh-huh. I'm paying for it now, so can you pay me by the end of this week? What? Do I have to pay it? Huh? Obviously, right? You said you forgot your wallet and you asked me to pay for it in the meantime. I did say that, but you're the wife of a board member, right? Don't you have to at least buy lunch for your subordinate's wife? But your husband is not my husband's direct subordinate or anything. If it's a board member and a regular employee, the regular employee is like a subordinate. But it's just lunch, so make it a treat for me. You're rich and your husband is a board member, so you must have plenty of money. That's not true. Don't be too modest. I had a feeling it was going to be like this. That's why you contacted me, because you didn't want to pay, right? That's right! You said you didn't want to go to lunch with me before, but now that my husband is a board member, you want me to treat you to lunch? It doesn't mean that my attitude has changed, you know? I've always wanted to be friends with you. You're so full of lies. It's true, it's true. I'll tell the other employees' wives that I'm good friends with you, a board member's wife. Huh? If there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to help. What do you mean? Tell him to give my husband a promotion. My husband doesn't have that kind of authority. 
Just tell him. Tell him. Oh, no. Then let's go out to lunch again. I don't want to. What? I don't want to have lunch with you anymore. Why not? Because you know why, right? I don't. Well, then you don't have to know. I don't want to go anyway. Oh, my God. Don't tell me you don't want to go. Let's go again. There's another restaurant I want to go to. You're the wife of an executive, so you should at least buy lunch for the wife of a lowly employee. I decline. Don't say that. Hey, Rose, are you listening to me? A few days later. Isabella, can I have a word? Hey, Rose, what's up? The day after tomorrow, I'm going to lunch with Jessica and her friends the day after tomorrow, but you said that you wanted to go too. Yes, is that bad? I told you I don't want to go with you anymore, didn't I? Really? You've been ignoring my messages on WhatsApp ever since. That's terrible, Rose. I don't know which is worse. It's your treat, right? What? I heard you're treating everyone because you're gathering all your rich mom friends. You want to pretend you're rich, don't you? Huh? I'll help you, too. It sounds like you're going to a fancy restaurant. I'm looking forward to it. I see. What? No, nothing. So, are you going to pay me back for that lunch? Why should I pay you back? It was a treat from you, the wife of a board member. To me, the wife of an ordinary employee. I see. So, you're not going to give it back to me no matter what I say, do you? Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I'll see you the day after tomorrow. The day of the lunch meeting. Rose, what should I do? What's wrong? I heard that it'll be a treat today, so all I have in my wallet is $20. What? I'm being charged $70 for the bill, and I'm $50 short. That's tough luck. So, it wasn't a treat in the first place? That's not what we talked about. Here's the problem. Huh? If it was supposed to be a treat, then why are you being charged for it? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you now. We're out of time. The thing is that it was everyone who was treating me to lunch. What? Isabella, you thought that I was treating everyone, right? Yes? So, you weren't? Yeah, they wanted to congratulate me on my husband's election in the board, so they said they'd treat me today. Well, I guess it's so that I can have a good relationship with my husband's company when I get the chance. Then why didn't you tell me? I told you, it's their treat. You didn't specify it. You didn't. I didn't specify it for you, huh? But usually, out of all of us, the one who's treating should be you, right? No, that's just your thinking. What should I do? You're leaving soon, right? I guess so. What will they say if I tell them I don't have any money in my wallet? I'm sure everyone has money, so I'm sure they'll pay for you. Well, I think they will laugh at you for a long time to come. I don't want to. They all have money and are very outspoken, right? If I ask something like that to them, I'm praying for you. You can't just pray. I don't have any money. There's nothing I can do. Hey, please, can I borrow some money? No. Why? Rose, you have at least $50, right? I do, but you're trying to force me to pay for you even though I said I didn't want to. If I lend money to someone like that, that person won't pay me back anyway, right? And you also said it's my fault for not telling you at the beginning. I'll pay you back. I'll even pay you back for my last lunch. I don't believe it. Please. Oh, well, I'll pay you back for the previous lunch right now. Really? Yeah, I have $20 in my wallet so I can pay you back. Okay, will you pay me back with it? Then I'll lend you $50. Really? Thank you. I'm going to the bathroom now, so come back later so that everyone doesn't know. I'll give it to you then. Uh-huh. An hour later. Rose, remember? What? Fifty dollars wasn't enough. I returned ten dollars out of the twenty dollars to you, so the fifty dollars I borrowed wasn't enough. Even if you say that, you're the one who asked me for the fifty dollars, right? If you'd known, you should have told me. You said you only needed fifty dollars, so... When I said I didn't have enough money to pay, you said, so it wasn't enough even though I just lent you $50? Now everyone knows that I borrowed the money. You didn't tell me to keep it a secret, so I just happened to tell them. It wasn't intentional. You think I'm stupid, don't you? I'm sorry, okay? Sorry doesn't cut it. I ended up borrowing the whole amount from Jessica. I wonder what she's saying behind my back. She's probably saying terrible things. She told me to give it back tomorrow. Rose, lend it to me. No. You were originally going to lend it to me, so why not? Jessica told us, right? She said, we're here to congratulate Rose, so don't do anything embarrassing like borrowing money from her, okay? But I don't have that kind of money. I don't know. Oh, no. Well, bye then. 
Wait, Rose! I don't know how she got the money, but Isabella went to return the money to Jessica. However, Jessica told everyone about Isabella's incident. The rumor spread that Isabella was an embarrassing person. After that, she stopped asking me to buy her lunch. I don't think it's necessary to celebrate your husband's promotion, but that doesn't mean you should force people to treat you to something, or be sarcastic, or make them feel bad. I hope this is an opportunity for her to understand such common sense things.